be it Tornado Energy or now Na'Vi very well as we now get ourselves into game number five of the day. I need more Power Rangers music coming in at this game. Let's go. We've got some epic tunes going on in the breaks. But now it's game number five. Sims and Pansy, bring us the action. We certainly will, but we want to make sure all of you at home are aware we've got some amazing giveaways going on during this. So get involved, have a look on all the socials. You can see how to do it. Get into chat and get yourself some goodies thanks to Alienware. So go get it now. Get it before the game really starts. This is the perfect opportunity. So there's your chance. There's me done. We can now start talking about the game. And the one thing I wanted to really highlight that actually really stood out to me is, okay, so I was, I was kind of, you know, as uh, Clover likes to say, the growth of a team, right? Now, in the first week that we saw Na'Vi, they accumulated 40 kills over the, what, 12 games? 12 rounds, I guess you could say? Yep. They, they're on 30 already. It's so, a step what up, a it? step up, Rich. That's unreal. It, it's one of those where you look at them and it's like, it's not as if they weren't close, Lauren. We saw two back-to-back -back second places within the realms mm -hmm. of that. We saw third mm -hmm. place. There were quite a few sub, you know, sub double digits amongst those as yep. well. We won't take that away from them. Many a game that had a zero frag in them whatsoever, um, which again, I feel is quite surprising for a, for a team of what we would put Navi on a pedestal and say they are. Mm. To see them get them a win straight away, it, it's pretty, pretty damn good. I, I, I do like that. It gives me confidence. There's still other teams that are doing just as well, if not better. I mean, I, I'm still taking nothing. While it was a 15th place in the last game, I take nothing, absolutely nothing away from QM's performance thus far. Two seconds and a first, the consist and lures Heroic into a false sense of security, which could be the time for TM to strike. This is the triple from previous. I don't know if we've got oh, all of it. We've got one of them. Oh my God, the turn. Nexi, you absolute animal. Big information being relayed, but what do they do with it? I don't mind him not shooting at this point because he shoots now, they're then pinned back. There's, there's really up. nothing else for them to do. Galacticos on to VP's compound. You were saying which side they were they going to commit to. They got one on the opposing side, and I think that's because they're playing off of SMB's position. VP could do with this clean. They've sent Ono out, excuse me, not sent Ono outside. Ono has gone outside, should I say. To try and get the revive, but ultimately he might just might be into his grave. He'll bounce it off the Ooh. vehicle. I love thought he was gonna try and slip it right between the middle and go for the one on the res. Phase pulling up damage it has done. Phase are pushing indeed. the other side. For the, the hangar. They're actually swinging in the they, hangar because yep. now no one's watched for it. They've committed one player to the smaller buildings in front, and that's completely open. They've been restricted by this fight. Yeah, Perfectix was completely focused, obviously, on dealing with what was at the doorstep. But now Batulins is in trouble. He's got three players on the other side. Fex, first face, and Gustav. One in the hangar, two in the compound. And then Perfectix is just being barreled in on. Everyone's piling into this. Heroic might get Overwatch 2, SMB, all listening to this happening off there in the hills. Just slightly further north. It's not a great cover, but it's something. But that compound is now just absolutely littered with bodies. And speaking of bodies, a doozy's going to make some more. Oof. Him and Dante. Incredible work between each other. How are they doing this? I do not know. As Artix is just forced to face the music here. Grown down. Hope you don't get noted, but you do. Everyone just destroyed in that. DA, a couple of nades coming out here and there. A couple of shots coming through and everyone's wiped out. Now, keep in mind, VP have been losing numbers. FaZe have been a problem to them. Galactic Shots are still alive. Ents are under fire. Everyone is in the absolute thick of it right now. That nade. A little bit too far, but my word. Hall of Gamer in dire straits. Losing two players off the back. Yuri just and only just recoverable. Gear up or gone for a deeper side of the circle. Totally fine with it. We'll see how it sits them because a lot of people will be eyes on the prize for any amount of land they can grab in this one. With hard cover being in abundance. <sighs> That's that's the only real viable position. They can take the hillside, they can check the, the small ridges. But apart from that, you've got one compound which heroic have joined in the fray. And situate have. can we just appreciate how many teams are going to die down south? This is ridiculous. Spyro's out on a win to try and clean this. They need Bye -bye. to get rid of Galacticos. They've overstayed their welcome for so damn long. It's cost VP so much time. They, they, they're they taking such risks oh, now to clear it. Spyro, you're going to run. Barely alive. Quepta is putting him on their toes, but only SMB and maybe Heroic can see him if he overreaches. And there it is. Picked up in the end. They know that. Now they're still down to three, keep in mind. 
FaZe are in front of them, and then beyond that is Heroic, and then beyond that is SMB. There are so many here, but look at what's left for FaZe. I think it's just two here, Fuzzface and Fex. So it's not the perfect amount. VP still actually maintain higher numbers, but it's that road cross that could be the death of them. However, we look further afield, up towards the north side, BBL and Veneer. Now, I don't know how much BBL has been given away in this. I see that they've taken a bit of damage, so clearly they've not been too subtle. Exhalation coming around the backside of Veneer. This could be the worst timing possible for them. They were trying to maybe capitalize on BBL's maybe more passive position, but now they've got problems further afield. And actually, Exhalation, back in the vehicles. They're going back down south. Where are they going? I mean, where else can you go? <laughs> it's always there once you get into the middle. Like, everything's pretty much gone. You can fully send it, but there's a couple of trees and, and nothing else bar that. Good nade. Absolutely perfect. But Tulin's just it. got Beamy as well. Should probably uh, burn so they... the rest of them. Exhalation gonna take the foothills. They've come back in. Oh, they've got the same they... gear up his. Oh, no, that's bad. Oh, oh this is messy. They just... Oh, oh. Ooh. However, if Veneer see this, this could be an easy finish off. Surely. Yeah, they're moving they in. They're taking the that. high ground. They, have they to are go taking for that. the high ground. You're bang on, Rich. But look what VP have done. How have they done this? How are they doing this? They were across the road. They had like four other teams here. They're still alive. They got past the first. They've just knocked Beamy. And they've just leapfrogged above FaZe basically at this point. I don't know how they keep getting away with this. I, I don't get it. They should have been dead so long ago. Quietly waiting. I do want to highlight. Ents has been very quiet in this. And honestly. Oh, he's got two. Keeping their head down. Yeah, of course he has. Of course, Putulin says. He doesn't feel well. He's having a rough day. That car somehow didn't kill someone. It's a surprise. We don't understand. Putulin is pushing. The man's just on one. He's on an absolute tear. Fuzzface and Fex are still stun locked in the background. They're still doing nothing. Maybe waiting for another team to cross. They don't want to push up yet either. They've put down their smokes. They've got their own problems to deal with. But VP take it into their own hands. Oh, they didn't get the flash through. That's a problem. They're not as blind as they wanted. They try and clear through this. But Tulin's puts his body on the line. No trade. This is now an issue. Things are starting to fall apart. Phaser are now on the horizon as well. There's the turn. Great pickup. Heroic go down. VP are left with two. And Phaser are on the way. Fuzzface on the door. No shotgun this time. Just a barrel. Nades coming out. Flashes coming out. Now, SMB is still the final boss. They're the ones who are in the circle, keep in mind. We're looking at FaZe Clan here on the outskirts, trying to lock in Virtus Pro. But they don't got much too, too much utility. I don't see any more nades. I see one Molly. Helmet's already a little scuffed oh, off. Fuzz face, as if you get away with it. As if you get away with that nade. Do you think he meant to put it up on the ledge? I don't think so. But he still gets it, no matter which way you cut it. And now losing all kinds of danger timing on that to be able to clean that whether or not he was doing that on purpose he understood that that was one of the weakest spots so they had to deny it and now the pressure really on Lou with standing flashbang yeah there's two of them you send them all and there's nothing they can do about that but the rest is is not yet they still have to continue they still have to deal with smb and looking at all of this you've got da flaming yep, and keanu one two thank you bbl is burning downstairs and they have just been wiping out players on this hillside and it's all going forward. Let's not forget, they actually missed the opportunity to capitalize on gear up. They let them live. Gear yeah. up is still sitting in that gap that, for some unknown reason, they did not push onto. They did not confirm. There was a chance to do it. And they opted to disengage and go for a different team altogether. Maybe because you of that. Might have seen Maybe why. because yeah. of Team Liquid shooting them at distance and still peppering them. Mexi and Jeems have a height advantage. It's outside of the circle. It's outside of the safety. But they can sit there for quite some time because no one's behind them Ooh. and lay waste to these players in front. The smokes are down and FaZe's last stand will begin. Okay, so Veneer are just pulling up towards Marco. There it is. He's gone. BBL are eliminated. I'm looking at FaZe trying to make the push on this one as well. Fex has fallen, so it's down to just Fuzz Face. He's out of there. SMB were the final boss of that southern fight. They're up towards these kind of jagged hills that are just a little north of it. But DA have slotted in quite interestingly. Now, they actually got a line of sight towards Ents. They're the ones that caused that knock on Rustamar. So I want to see how this unfolds between the two. You can see Ents is very vulnerable. They've had to already put up the smoke wall just for that res. They're being very, very cautious with this. And Liquid have started to leave that compound too. They had to. Bear in mind, it's not in the new circle. But they've started to work their way down. DA's positioning and Ents's is really catching my eye here. Kept alive. It wasn't pretty. But everyone else, I mean, it's smokes and cars and prayers. So here we go. First team to try and lean forward. And Veneer's not far away either. Trying to be as evasive as possible. But you're in the open. You're in a field. It's clip to find it. And there's a little bit of a dip garnered. It ain't much, and I'm pretty sure Tixu's gonna have vision on that. Yo, it's James! With a huge nade, Bombardment comes in, and just one. 
and it's gone. Liquid are fighting this one out. They wanted that space, they take that space, but Vard just got ticked, Sue. Oh. Now there is a trade, but it's not on DA, that's on SMB. DA could use this as a chance. I don't know if they're going for that risky play. They're in a vehicle, Diggory's found Vard. Okay, they've, they've had to do, wait, you're right. Liquid are now moving, Enter completely focused on DA, and look who's behind them, it's Team Liquid! Taking the spot away from Ents. Unbelievable moves from Liquid here. This is the perfect timing to strike. They are fighting this one out with everything they have. But there's still a 3v2. And still have two players, but DA are now on the other side. DA have dealt with SMB, so now they can turn their attention back to what's going on. But look at where Jeans is as well. They put Mexi and Clip together as a duo, a dastardly duo. Jeans peppering in fire from further afield. Keeping DA off the doorstep. This is incredible stuff. But Rustamar and Diggory, these boys have been on one. Ents have elevated recently. They have certainly gotten better. No helmet on Clib as well. Threed up on Vest, but gear-wise, could be vulnerable. Yeah, the helmet's a real kicker. I love the anchor position that Jeems is playing to try and deny more land movement from DA so his two teammates can deal with the situation at hand. I mean, DA can play a real spoiler to this. Let's not take anything away from this roster whatsoever. Schofield's just... still in the mix of it. No one knows about his position at the moment. He's hidden behind a dead car. Pan goes oh. over. If it hits somebody, I'd be <laughs> impressed. <laughs> I mean, at this point, Liquid hold 80% of this circle. If they can just live and keep Ents forced on this side, they should eventually force DA and Ents to face, right? Like, maybe Schofield can be a problem. Maybe. But they're just trying to herd the others to make them take each other out. They want to be that last team to the party. Oh, James, James careful now. Move. You've been noted. He has to Gemti move. now knows where he is. Doesn't he's not inside. Though. Like, he can't stay there. I mean, he could probably move a vehicle forward, but yeah. he does have to come forward, and that could be the... But so the symbol DA. that DA needs to be able to, like, okay, he doesn't have our angle now. Maybe we can do something different. If James goes down, He's things in. really change up. But it could be the domino effect. It could say, okay, well, that's clear now. Let's wander around. Then Schofield strikes. Jimbo's doing everything to get back with the head of the pack and tackle this problem, this situation, head on. He does have a vehicle. The smokes are there. Blast through those. Get back to liquid. And refortify the ranks. This is this is an interesting one. We got some really, really banging players here. Yeah, we have some absolute veterans as well. Schofield, not one of the veterans, but certainly see how he handles this scenario. A tricky one, and actually a problem for the other side. DA overstep. They overcommit. And Schofield shows his hand. And now this is where problems begin. Hey, Schofield's HP what? is so good. What? And look at this man go. One more shot. He gets some help for the back lines. He does go down to the car. Oh, a valiant attempt, but now we look further afield. This is the breaking point. This is the last straw that breaks the camel's back, and the clip's been knocked. But quickly, Jeems has moved up. It's not just Mexi on his own. It's going to be a 2v2. Rustamar and Diggory up against Jeems and Mexi. Rustamar to the left, Diggory to the right. One smoke on Mexi. He spots him out! Just absolutely annihilation, as now Diggory presented a 1v2. To save ends, they had it all. They had the kingdom in front of them. And Liquid... Like thieves in the night have stolen it away from them, but now Diggory, what can you do to try and turn this tail? Mexi just on the other side. Diggory trying to get that first pixel. Maybe a headshot would be key, but he's not being presented one. Flash in hand with Jeems. This could be go time. There's the flash. Here's the push. They're moving up on this. Jeems is not sitting back by any means. He's pushing up. He's got the frag. And Team Liquid do it against the odds. 16 kills and a chicken dinner. A couple of third placements, we said Liquid was knocking at the door of a win. They kept getting closer and closer. The question on my mind is, what would have happened had Schofield not have been there? He just single-handedly ruined the day of digital athletics. He hid for so long on the car, and no one could see him because the car was on an angle. Laid down next to it, you could not see him underneath it. Text 2 almost turns 3. <laughs>